The most searched athletes on Bing in the year 2013. It's an interesting list and a list that I don't get. So last year Peyton Manning was the number one overall searched athlete and Maria Sharapova was the number one overall searched female athlete. Maria Sharapova is in this list. Peyton Manning is not in this list. Astounding, considering that the Denver Broncos are rolling. So let's see it very quickly. Uh, Tim Tebow starts off the list at number one. Incredibly surprising to me. He was number three in 2012. There is a bidding war, by the way, going on for Tim Tebow between all these different networks. And as you can see, the microphones are attracted to his face, so it seems only reasonable that there would be a bidding war going on. Why exactly is Tebow number one? Look, I respect the guy. I don't think that he's a fantastic quarterback. I, I've said this so many times on this medium. Tebow reminds me of Blackjack when he was with the Broncos. And, and let's say that you just had nothing to lose. You just keep going until you lose it all. And look, he, he, is, he is a part of an unfortunate case it's unfortunate circumstances with Tim Tebow, Tim Tebow, but it appears that he's going to be fine. He's getting paid right now. Maybe the Jaguars take him in. I have no idea, but Tim Tebow is number one on this list. Number two is not necessarily Mrs. Tiger Woods, but now the girlfriend of Tiger Woods, Lindsey Vaughn. She is the number one overall searched female athlete on Bing's list. And maybe you could say that they complement one another, Lindsey Vaughn and Tiger Woods, because Maybe to no surprise, number three on this list is Mr. Lindsey Vaughn, Tiger Woods. How about that? They absolutely complement each other. So Tiger Woods in 2012 was number two. He obviously fell one spot to number three. Struggling, yes, but we always like to see a sort of redemption, and I think that Tiger is going to do that. Hopefully he'll do it in the near future. Number four, let's move right along. Unfortunate circumstance once again, but it certainly did help his fame rise immensely. It is Louisville guard Kevin Ware. We could even roll through these pictures because you will see from the incident, I'm not going to get that graphic with it, but from the incident and when it happened, and you could, I came into the studio that day, and it was just such emotion that went into that game when he broke his leg, the bone was sticking out of his leg. It was a gruesome injury, by far the most gruesome I've ever seen. The players were throwing up on the bench, but then after the game, and you, you see here in the national championship, there's, they're paying homage to Kevin Ware, and it, it was just, it was great to see his teammates right there. So Kevin Ware at number four. At number five, now retired Baltimore Raven and Super Bowl champion and current, current broadcaster for ESPN, Ray Lewis. Now Ray Lewis comes in at number five. There was a, like, I mean, let's just call a spade a spade. With the deer antler spray and what have you, it appears that that may have been a hoax and kind of fake. We don't necessarily know. But the fact that Ray Lewis came back with such a speedy recovery from a torn bicep muscle that usually takes months, months upon months upon months to come back from, no surprise Ray Lewis is in this top 10. At number six, the best basketball player on the planet, LeBron James. I'm amazed, amazed that he's not top three, not even number one. A back-to-back -back NBA champion, four MVPs. How exactly is Team Tim, Bo Tim Tebow ahead of this guy? Why can't I say Tebow correctly in this segment? Why is Tebow ahead of LeBron James? It amazes me to this day when I prepared for this story and now that I'm doing it. Shocking to see LeBron James after Tim Tebow, after Ray Lewis, after Lindsey Vaughn. I'm just stunned by it. At number seven, driver Danica Patrick. This is uh, also, I think, no surprise. She's more than deserving of being in the top ten. I want to roll right through these guys. By the way, the uh, GoDaddy car and the GoDaddy ads have certainly helped her. And by the way, those Super Bowl ads that they put out every single year are always going to be, wow, did you see what GoDaddy did this year? You see that nerd, he kissed Bar Raphael. Oh my God. Like, you know what I mean? So GoDaddy's obviously helping her. Uh, number eight, though she is a fantastic driver. At number eight, Dwight Howard, the Dwight Mayor, as many Lakers like to call it, make it Laker fans, not Lakers. I'm sure Kobe Bryant has many more mean things to say about Kobe Bryant, or Kobe Bryant has many more mean things to say about Dwight Howard. Uh, to no surprise, Dwight Howard is in this list as well. A rough offseason for the Lakers and Dwight Howard. He came from the Magic. He wanted to leave, and then he goes to the Lakers, and then he kind of wants to leave again, and now he's with Houston. At number nine, New York Yankees shortstop 
and a hell of a guy dating every model on this planet, Derek Jeter, the top searched Major League Baseball player for the third straight year. Just goes to show the legacy that this guy has, even when he misses what seems like 85% of the season, he's still the number one searched Major League Baseball player, the New York Yankees leader in hits, games played, stolen bases, and at bats. And rounding out the top 10, the 2011-2012 number one female athlete, as I indicated earlier, Maria Sharapova. Now, Sharapova obviously from Russia. She wins a ton of majors every single year. A fantastic, fantastic tennis player. The endorsements could be helping her as well. I'm, I don't remember uh, who exactly she's modeling for right there. But again, a, a, a fantastic athlete is Maria Sharapova, one of Dave Kohler's favorites, and just an all-around fantastic, fantastic tennis player. I, am, I would not be surprised if she were to win even two majors this next year. She seems like she's hitting her stride. So that is the list of the top ten. What exactly did you think about it? Who is left out? Leave a thought in the comments section below. And do me a favor, subscribe to TYT Sports. We'll see you guys soon.